Do you know what OG stands for? Um, original. Original gangsta. Gangsta. Okay. Look at us, gangsta. Yeah, gangsta. <laughs> yeah, yeah. I feel so good about that. <laughs>、can't pick your family, but you can certainly pick your friends. So that might be why friendship issues can sometimes seem even more complicated than family drama. Do you know how long we've been friends since we were 21 and 22, and now we're、mm, 64, and I'm 63. So that's over 40 years. So we may not be experts, but I do think we know a thing or two about friendship. So let's check out some of the stickiest situations and see if we can help. What's number one? My friend's boyfriend is ring shopping and wants my help, but I know my friend doesn't want to marry him.、Uh-huh. Oh, what do I do?、Uh, I would tell the friend. Me too. I would say to her. I would say to her. I would say, Gail. Yes. Stephen called、you. me and said <laughs> he that he wants to get a ring. I'd say. I would definitely go to the friend and suggest to her that she, she figured out a way to head it off. Head it off. Pass. Yes. That's that's what I would do. Okay. Number two. So I accidentally texted my friend talking about her. Oh my God! Ooh, I meant to send the text to another friend. She hasn't spoken to me for days. How do I clean up? She clean shouldn't. Up? I don't know how you clean that up. No, you don't clean that up. You, bye. You think she shouldn't clean it up? I have、and、never. And I don't even know how you explain it either. I don't even know how you don't explain it. You sound like that、it. friendship is over. Yeah.、O-B-A-H. Why would you be doing that anyway? Yeah. Why did that happen? What was it there to teach you? About yourself teaches you that you are the kind of person that goes behind a friend's back talking to another friend. So, yeah, I don't know how you come back from that. Yeah, I don't. The other night, I saw my friend's husband out to drinks with another woman. They weren't doing anything inappropriate. It was a Thursday after work around happy hour. Hmm.、Mm-hmm. But when、oh. I said hi, he acted kind of weird. And、hmm. didn't introduce her. I don't want to start any problems between them. Should I say something?、Hmm. Yes. Now I wouldn't say something. I would say something to him. Would you? Yes, I would. I would go to him and I would say, "Look, I'm going to give you 24 hours, and if you don't tell her, I'm going to." But I would go and say something to him first. I would definitely say something to you. And not to him. I wouldn't say anything to him. I'd go to you and I'd say, "I saw him." I've spoken many times in life about whispers、yeah. and how life is always whispering to you.、Yeah. And when you walk in a situation and there there's a part of you, your whole being that just goes, "Hmm, something ain't right." It it isn't. That's your instinct trying to tell you that it isn't. Whenever I go to concerts with my white friend, she always says the N word. How do I tell her to stop? Stop. What do you mean? How do I tell her to stop? I don't even understand that question. Key word here is concerts. You know what? I'm confused too. I'm really confused. I don't know what I know, and I know white people is confused because they're singing the songs, they're buying the records. But so when you get to that, what are you supposed to say? What are you supposed to? <laughs> you're I mean, supposed to go mute. <laughs> <laughs> what are you supposed to do? You get to the N word, and all of a sudden you're singing the thing, and then what are you supposed to do? And then white people. Mad. Yes, when we were at the Jay Z concert and、yes. he was singing the song, I go, now what are all the white people supposed to do right now? <laughs> are you not supposed to sing the words? I know it's 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 a contradiction, but I don't like it. I don't enjoy when I hear white people singing in words at the top of their lungs. I don't like it. Oh, like what it. what if they're just sort of humming along? <laughs> <laughs> you prefer a humming in word song? No, I don't like that either. I don't it, like the in word period. It, I recommended my friend for a job at my company, but since she started, she's been half assing it, and I feel like it's making me look bad. It is. Should I say something? Yes, yes you should. Yes, you should go to your friend and you should say exactly. You're making me look bad. You're making me look bad, and I stuck my neck out for you. And either you want to be here or you, or don't. you don't. And if you don't, you should just leave. She is making you look bad because in the back offices they're, they're saying they're talking about you. They're talking about you. It's true. They're talking about you, especially if you recommended that friend. They're talking about you, and your friend is now ruining your good reputation because、yeah, they trusted you. They trusted you. My friend has owed me five hundred dollars for six months now. I've been trying to be understanding, but she just bought a new designer bag. This is really good for you. <laughs> how can I say something without seeming like I'm trying to tell her how to spend her money? You've got some great stories on this. I've got some great stories. You once lent somebody money. I once. <laughs> Why don't you just tell no, the story? No, 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 no. It was five thousand dollars. Yes. But best five thousand dollars I ever spent. To exit, I call it my exit fee. Just have it as a standard policy. 
Don't loan friends money. But Oprah, you what can if your give, friend is in trouble? Give, I, I didn't say, would what you if let your me friend, finish? Okay, okay. Because what if your give friend is in trouble? Your friend the money and say, look, I'm just gonna do this for you. You don't even have to pay me back. Because loaning friends money will cause you major issues in the friendship. See, I disagree. I think that it's okay to loan a friend money. Have you loaned money to friends? I've never loaned, I've just given. <laughs> That's right. <laughs> That's my point. I've loaned so $500, I've loaned $5,000, I've loaned $50,000, I've loaned a million dollars. Just in general, friends start to think, she had an, enough extra money to give this to me. Yeah. I am struggling trying to give this money back to you. Then they resent you. And then they end up resenting you for it. That's why she's out buying new things with your $500. How have we stayed friends? This is really the key. Gail has always been really happy with her life. Mm. I've been really happy with my life. Yeah. So you want to have friends that are really, really, really happy for your accomplishments and feel great about it and don't feel like your accomplishment is taking anything, anything away from them. So to have a happy life, you gotta have people in it who support you. People are genuinely happy for you. Uh, frenemies and forced friendships are, are, they're just not worth it. Ever. And so we hope that this little conversation helped. So let us know in the comments what topic we should tackle next on the um, OG Chronicles.